when yeah. you consider that usually it is very cold and raining. So we had a good turnout. We had a lot of folks that came by. Uh, I think the preliminary amount was like 50, close to 55,000. Wow, so, that's a lot. Yeah, so their goal is 90,000. So hopefully we'll get to that by the end of the year. Yeah, so that's I know awesome. you can do it because this is a giving community. We had that, we had the parades. We have all kinds of things happening over the weekend. And we've actually got another parade coming up tomorrow. And that one is in Lexington. Well, today we of course had the gray skies, kind of a continuation of yesterday. But then in the afternoon, we started to get a few peaks here and there of a little bit of sun and maybe a sign of things to come. And yes, we are going to dry things out. We're going to clear the sky as we head into Monday. So for that parade in Lexington lineup, we've got a few clouds, pleasant temperatures in the low 60s. As that parade starts, it'll be cooling off some, but really comfortable in the mid to upper 50s with just some patchy clouds around. We have a front that's overhead right now, so that's going to help to dry us out. Over the last three days, we did not get a whole lot of measurable rain, so it was very light rain across the region. The heavier rain stayed offshore and on the other side of the mountains, but we did get at least some rain in spots, only a few one hundredths of an inch on Saturday and then up to about a tenth of an inch or so for places like North Wilkesboro and Mount Airy. And then today, since midnight, we have picked up about a tenth of an inch in most places, some closer to a quarter of an inch that third of an inch for the triad puts us at 0.3 for the month and we are right at normal to date for the month, but we are below normal for the year, still by about two inches. Temperatures were well above normal today. We managed to get up to 67 ahead of that front because we were pretty rain free. Those temps were pretty mild all across the area. Reedsville at 68, 66 in North Wilkesboro, Danville at 68. Tomorrow we're going to see low 60s, and then I do think we'll drop some with highs that are expected to be below normal for several days this week, especially in that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time period. Right Right now it's pretty comfortable. You've got some Sunday evening plans We're right around 60 degrees in Greensboro. We're 61 in Mount Airy. Galax at 53 breezes are out of the west coming in behind that front at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. It's fairly dry out over the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. There's another little clipper like system that's going to scoot in here tomorrow. I have a few passing clouds with that. We'll wake up tomorrow morning with partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. I think we'll have some sunshine before lunchtime and then the clouds will start to build in as that weather system gets close to us. I think it's possible we could have a spotty, very light rain shower tomorrow, but those rain chances and the rain coverage is very low, only at about 20% tomorrow. High temperature 62 after morning temps are in the low 40s. For the foothills, it's a mild Monday as well. We're close to 60, partly cloudy, small chance for a shower. Isolated shower chances in the mountains as well in the afternoon with a high near 50 degrees. We've got another weather system once that one moves in that will be here on Wednesday and it is possible that we will have maybe some mountain flurries with that one as it gets close to our area. That storm system is the one you see way out there over Canada. So here is our seven day forecast. You see the temperatures down below freezing in the morning for Thursday morning with some sunshine and then we'll warm up into next weekend. You're watching WF